Hey writers, and welcome to our 10th writing prompt. So since we sort of started this online writing prompt style, we've gone over a lot of different things. We've gone over a lot of different ways of character development. We've put our characters to situations of conflict and suspense and challenged them to change themselves and to grow and adapt to their environments. And we've even talked about different ways that we can impact our writing styles along the way, such as through imagery and lyricism. So what I almost wanted to do this week is just to take a moment, just take a breath, just take a second to review all of these different things that we've covered and all of the different things that you've learned to incorporate into your writing, to develop your own writing. And take a moment this time around to focus on something that you want to write about. A lot of times these writing prompts sort of will put their participants in sort of a box where you're kind of being told what to write about. but. That's not really what our goal is here. Although we're kind of starting off by putting you into these limitations to sort of challenge yourself as a writer, the ultimate goal of this should be to develop your own ideas and to branch off your own ideas from the initial writing prompt. I know in my own writing, for example, sometimes I've written about something on a writing prompt and I'll write a story that's based from that writing prompt, but it's a completely different story than what I had ever even written in there. But one thing I do want to mention is what if you find yourself kind of staring at that blank page and you're not really sure what to do or where to go? One thing that helps me in those scenarios is a thing I like to call a theme. And I guess I shouldn't say I like to call it, it is called a theme. But it's a sort of concept of the subject matter of the story that keeps repeating and keeps coming up throughout the story. Think about, for example, if you write a story about animals and the environment, animals and nature, then you're kind of incorporating themes of environmentalism. You're sort of talking about how animals relate to their environment and how that plays out in nature. If you write a love story, for example, then your theme is sort of based around love. If you're writing, you know, about um, a relationship that's just starting, that's going to be the sort of themes, the sort of building of love. Or if you're writing about a breakup, then sometimes that can be the sort of theme, the sort of breakup and the process of that, so to speak. But one thing that's important to note here, that writers don't always know what theme they're going to do. And sometimes writers don't even know the theme of their story until they're done writing the story. Sometimes even more, readers will come up with a theme for the writer and the writer kind of just signs off on it and is like, sure, whatever you want to interpret it as. And all of those are completely valid. It really just depends. But I find that theme for me anyways helps me a lot if I'm sort of just getting stuck because it causes me to ask myself, what do I want to say? What do I want to talk about? What do I want the story to be about? What do I want the characters to be about? Who do I want them to represent? Who do I want them to be? Sometimes it's okay not to have those answers. Sometimes it's okay to sort of find that out as you're writing the story and to find out new things about yourself. Honestly, I would encourage that above all else because as you find out new things about yourself as a writer, you can incorporate those new things into the story and then you just sort of kind of get stuck in the cycle of, you know, developing and constantly growing and evolving as a writer and as a human being. But all that is to say, what I want you to focus on this week is really just developing your own ideas, really just going after your own stories, writing your own stories, exploring your own concepts, exploring your own sort of paths that you want to carve, that you want to walk upon. A lot of times I feel like these writing prompts can sort of almost limit us too much and make us think, you know, we have to write about a very narrow thing of ideas. But that's not the case at all. You shouldn't, while writing prompts are helpful to sort of get started on certain things, you shouldn't let them sort of limit you and put you into this box. And so that's why this week, I really just want to focus on writing what you want to write about, writing about what's important to you as a writer. One last thing I want to mention before I go, is soon in November, starting November 1st to November 30th, there's a great program called NaNoWriMo, which I'll probably talk about um, in a future video. But basically what it is, is all participants are encouraged to write their own novel from November 1st to November 30th in a month. 
I know that sounds like impossible, but it's not. Because basically what you're doing is you go into this website, which I'll link in the description below, and you're just writing. You're locking away your inner editor and sort of locking away that sort of voice in the back of your head that tells you that something's not good enough or that something needs to develop and change and whatnot. And you're just writing on seeing what you come up with for a full month. And then at the end of the month, maybe you'll have a novel. Maybe you'll have a story that you're really proud of. Or at the very least, maybe you'll have the first draft of a novel. And, you, and then you can break out the editor and sort of condense all of these different things. But it really will just show you the power of how much you can write when you're sort of just kind of free from any constraints. And I feel like that kind of goes along with what I'm wanting to talk about in here as well. So with all that, really just take this week to explore your own ideas. Really take this week to just write about what you want to write about and write about what's important to you as a writer and as a fellow human being. With that, I'll see you in the next one and I hope you have a great week.